going on everybody? So I've got the IWI uh, TAR Podium. Uh, it's manufactured by Fab Defense. Um, basically what this is, is it's basically uh, a covert bipod that you can attach to your Tavor. Um, there's not a whole lot of in information on them, especially, well, there's lots of information, not a whole lot of uh, installation help. So I'm going to show you guys today how to install uh, the Tavor Podium. Um, the fatal flaw with it is, you know, I, I love uh, uh, Fab Defense products. I think they're great, but they don't include a manual. Like in here, you've got the Tavor Podium, and you've got uh, the advantages of it. Oh, I dropped it. And you've got uh, them advertising for other stuff, but they give you absolutely zero information on how to install it, like nothing. There's no information whatsoever. So I'm going to show you guys uh, today uh, how to install it. So in the in the package, you get the obviously the podium itself. And you get uh, the Allen key you're going to need to install it. So let's sit down and uh, install it. For the Tavor, you need to uh, push out the tabs on the base of the grip. Now these tabs are going to be on each side, so you're going to need to kind of wedge the gun in between your legs and push out the two tabs, and you're going to be good to go. So let's do that. Uh. So for this demonstration, I'm just using two 762 by 39 bullets. You can use any punches or whatever. Um, this thing can be a little stiff. I may or may not include the footage of me trying to struggle with this the first time around. Um, basically what you gotta do is you gotta push in on the two tabs simultaneously and ever so slightly push upwards, just a little bit, not a lot. Just enough to break it loose so the two tabs disengage. So that's exactly what I'm doing now. I've heard some people say these are very, very like easy to push out, and some are really stiff. Uh, mine's really stiff. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Oh, that went way better than last time. Okay. So out that comes. Now you basically just have a hollowed out hole in the base of the gun or the the grip. Uh, the IDF uses this for uh, basically a spot to put a, a cleaning rod or not a cleaning rod, sorry, a, 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 like a, a boar snake and a bottle of uh, lube. So let me grab that podium because for some reason I set it down behind the camera. Okay. So the podium itself, it, it comes assembled. So what you need to do is essentially disassemble the front of it. So right in the front here, you're gonna see an Allen key right there. You wanna get that out of there or loosen it off considerably. You're gonna need to get this fairly loose. What I do is I just take this right off and I'll, I'll put it back on later. So we're gonna loosen this way off. Like way off. I think that's enough. That should be enough. This thing is threaded all the way through, so you don't need to worry about losing the, uh, the, uh, the screw here. Okay. So. I hope the camera's gonna pick this up okay. Basically, you wanna line it up. And again, you're gonna need kind of three hands because you gotta push in the tabs on each side. There we go. Now, as you push it in, get behind the camera again. As you push it in, it's just gonna slide right down nice and gently until it snaps into place. So now it's, now it's secured, so now you can tighten on the, the the actual front clamps, they're gonna hook right into the uh, the front of the handguard. They actually hook into it, which just gives it that much more stability and uh, control. So, I'm gonna do that right now. I probably shouldn't be leaning this against the scope, but I'm gonna do it anyways. So, for starters, you gotta tighten this back down a bit. Just enough till you see the screw getting ready to poke through. That way you can attach uh, the other the other side of the clamp. Now just make sure when you line it up that the uh, the actual tab goes inside here. So, you, so you, what you could do is just right down. There's a slightly bigger gap at the bottom. You can't put it in up here, but right at the bottom it actually expands just a little bit where you can slide it in. 
and now we'll just tighten the screw down. Now, do not over tighten this. It is a very light threaded screw. You will strip it if you try and do this too tight. Get it snug and then stop. Like, tr trust me, you, you will strip this. So that's it. It's, uh, this is installed now. So it's, it's very sturdy. The plastic it's made out of is a very heavy duty uh, plastic. And it is designed by Tamir Porat. Good guy. Um, that's it. So now it's installed. Um, you don't need to tighten that down too much simply because it is locked in by these two tabs here. And I mean, it's not, they're not going to break out easily. So to release it, there's a button at the back. You simply, and out it goes. To return it, just simply let go and you can snap them back in. You actually have to snap them in for them to stay in. So I'm going to try and give you guys a side view here of what it looks like when it's actually being used. And then I'm gonna cut the video out because I wanted this to be fairly quick. Okay. So what you can do is just, essentially just take, while you're gripping it and you're shooting, you wanna go uh, uh, into a more stable position. All you do is simply slide your grip hand down. So you can just slide it down just like this. Grip hand down and out they go. I'll do that again without my arm in the way. You barely have to adjust your shooting grip to activate that. Or if you really wanted to, you can simply just bring your, your support arm back. Now, let's see how that looks on camera. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So this is essentially what it looks like when, you're, when you've got it. So I don't, I don't even have to use my support arm. Wow, that's stable, holy shit. That's way better than a steady rest. Yeah, I'm sold. Uh, I bought this from uh, Zahal or Zal.org. That's Z A H A L dot org. Um, great people there. Um, I think this is a great little attachment. I really do. Like it's it's very compact. It it adds not even an inch to the well, maybe a little over, about an inch to the overall base, so you won't even notice it. And just like that, you can turn your gun into a. A very stable platform. I'm gonna push down on it because I'm curious. Yeah, that plastic's not <coughs> that plastic's not flexing at all. Yeah, that's stable. Nice. Well, uh, Zal.org. Um, about seventy-eight dollars on sale right now. Uh, Canadian dollars, mind you. I have no idea what that would cost in American. Uh, good kit. Right on. That's that's it guys. It's it's a piece of cake. Thanks everybody for watching and I will see you all next time. So all we got to do is push on the gun, the tabs out on the inside here. So I've got two 76239 bullets. I hope the camera's going to pick this up. And I'm just going to push in on each and it should pop <clears throat> Holy Christ! Okay, that's not working. <clears throat> Come on. Oh my God, why can't I get it to move? <clears throat> oh, I got it, I got it. I, oh! Okay, no, I'm gonna go take a break. I'm gonna smash something.